just wanted to talk a little bit about transcending patterns in uh, relationships. Mm. I think, you know, I really believe in karma and, you know, relationships are attracted. I mean, I sort of see this world as a world, a school for transcendence, is just my personal view. So, uh, and that would easily come into, because what, what you transcend, well, you transcend what you get hooked into. And if a pattern is coming over and over again, for me, there is a pattern in me that hooks in. And I could say on a mystical level is attracting that to me. So the universe, because you have, have that pattern in me, uh, let's say, uh, let me, uh, so what could be a thing in a romantic relationship? Let's say I attract women who dump me uh, for someone else very easily. Yeah. So, so if that, that keeps happening over and over again, you know, um, then I would say it's actually, it's not about them, it's I have that pattern in me, and so the universe is giving me lots of women that are until and sort of saying the universe is saying until you get until you transcend this pattern i'm going to give it to you over and over and over mm. again mm. until you transcend it you know all these women are just going to dump you after a while and think you're useless so it's not the that that's just like that's like that's that's not the, that's not the universe's problem the universe is is working perfectly uh, it's not the women's problem. That's the that that's the pattern in me. Mm. The universe wants yeah. me to to transcend. And if I just and the thing is, if I just dump a woman and say, well, you've, or if she dumped, she's dumped me, and I go to the next woman, and I haven't resolved that pattern in me, and I use the word transcendence, then I would expect you know that pattern will come up again mm -hmm. and again and mm. again, you know, because mm. it's like I'm at that vibration where I haven't transcended this limiting belief, shall we say, mm -hmm. within me. Mm -hmm. And so the universe is going to go, well, you know, I'm not going to upgrade you to a nicer woman who, who keeps you until you until you transcend this problem mm -hmm. in you. I'm just going to mm -hmm. show you this thing over and over again. So if I recognize this is a repeating pattern, then it's an opportunity for me, like if I get dumped, then is to feel the feelings out and to transcend everything until I'm not holding any data, not holding any ill will or negative thoughts about her or myself and I also like I like this thing of uh, Hawkins says you know like a position of neutrality whether it happens or not I'll be okay you know so it's, it's more like okay well <clears throat> even if every single woman I met dumped me after a few days that's not going to affect me you know I'm in a place where I wouldn't probably even notice it be, I got dumped today, but I'm just enjoying a cup of tea and a cake or whatever. And I shouldn't say cake because I'm a food addict. But anyway, it's like it's not a big deal. It's like you, it's like you lost one p, and you know you're not going to sweat it. You're going to forget it. You know, oh, I got dumped today, but so what? You know, so it's a bit, it should be like that rather than I got dumped. I want to commit suicide and jump off a bridge. So it shouldn't be that level of that level of emotional intensity. It should be like a meaningless, neutral thing. And possibly, that, and when, I, when it is a meaningless neutral thing, that's what I call transcendence. And usually, when it is a meaningless neutral, neutral thing, usually the universe upgrades me in my experience. The, the mm. person, because that pattern's no longer in me, it's almost like the universe doesn't need to give me that again. Yeah. Because that's like, well, you know, mm. that limit, because I'm now, I'm now more uh, in tune with my infinite potential. And in my infinite potential, I don't track limiting things. So, so it's like almost like the universe knows that I wouldn't track it anyway, so there's no point in giving it to me because I wouldn't notice it. Mm. So then I get the next lesson, the next thing to do. But I'll get an upgraded model. I think that's the great work about transcendence is, you know, if I'm in like in a low level of consciousness, not done any work in addiction, in fear, in body identification, and I feel like, uh, I feel like a piece of shit and I feel suicidal, I'm going to be attracting stuff on that level you know, uh, real crazy people on that vibratory level. That's what I'll be trying As I trans... Downgraded. Yeah, so I'm downgraded. So if I start so transcending I stuff... Downgrades. You can have downgrades. <laughs> if, you, if, you, uh, if you get dumped and you just eat donuts and watch Netflix, yeah, you probably get a downgrade. And the next person, instead of dumping you after three days, they dump you after one day. So you get, <laughs> so you get downgraded in your things. Like you're going, your pattern gets stronger. So, or they dump you quicker and they tell you you're a piece of shit or something like that. So that's going down. If you don't process and transcend, 
your feelings and transcend the data, you get downgraded if you use addiction or numbing out. If you get, <clears throat> if you get difficulties in a relationship and you trans process the feelings out and transcend the data that you got hooked, what you thought was wrong or bad between the two of you, you get upgraded in the universe. Your level of consciousness increases. You're letting go of the limiting data and the repressed feelings around any traumas or things, why that's affecting you. Uh, you get upgraded from the universe and you get a better model. Um, ultimately, if you get into the places, like let's say you, your aim is, uh, there's two main aims I, I feel spiritually, the big ones, either unconditional love or enlightenment. I mean, if you unconditionally love someone, then to get to a level of unconditional love, it's, like, it's almost like you have a strong sense of self and you, you love them and your sense of self is so strong that even if they said, oh, I've met, you know, I really love you, but I've met someone who I feel is the right person for me. You'll st you still hold a, a space of love for that because your intention has been to love without conditions. And so you process through, even if you're in a relationship, that even if they leave for a better person and it's right for them, your heart will still stay open. You know, you won't go into this kind of limited thing of like, no, I need possessive love. I need controlling love. <clears throat> uh, if you go, and if you go to enlightenment, if you want to transcend this world, I used to stay in, in the now without holding data from the last now. So whether they're, they're with you, the, the, it's like the second they leave the house, you're in the next moment. You don't, you don't track. You don't track. It's like they left the house and there's a squirrel on the windowsill. That squirrel is witnessed to be perfectly divine. And the story of that's my special partner has gone, you see. There was a squirrel on my windowsill this morning. There you go. I'm not even joking. <laughs> <laughs> that's a strawberry, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that's that's for me. Like that's my thing with like girl, if I had a girlfriend, mm. it should be like if she leaves and there's a squirrel on the windowsill, that squirrel is equally as divine and beautiful as the girlfriend that just left, you see, because that's the next mm. now. Yeah. You know, the now the divinity that's witnessed in this now is enough. You don't have mm. to hold on to the sec. You know, the last second is gone. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. whereas when you are in attachment, mm. it's like you know, if if you finish your last donut, then you're you're still wishing you had another donut. Or if your girlfriend has just walked out the door, mm. you're like, oh, this this now is now empty, because she she was my now of wholeness. Mm. Now she's gone. I feel empty because this now is not enough. You know, so that, that attachment, that story build-up has meant that you, um, you get an artificial high when she's in the room, but when she's not in the room, you get a, you get a deflation. Mm -hmm. Whereas actually, no ego means now is now, and each now is equally as beautiful, and you don't hold on to the story of the last now. So that would be like an enlightened relationship, it would be not to let... It, I call it, enlightenment is not allowing attachment build-up or thought build-up not allowing anything to be special. As soon as anything becomes special, a relationship becomes special, you go immediately to task on dissolving that special attachment. So you become much more, it's more like a mindfulness practice, not to, to be aware of attachment build up and to dissolve it in, in, you know, as quickly as possible. Whereas if you're more into like, I don't want enlightenment, then you allow attach, special attachments to build up in your head if you allow special attachments to build up in your head, then you'll get all the human range. If it's mild attachment, if, they, if, you let, if the relationship breaks up, you might be in pain for a few days. If it's like addiction and level dependency, and you have a breakup, you'll feel suicidal. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, this person was the love and the meaning of my life. Without this person, then there's no point in living. So I'll just jump off a bridge. So that's what we call addiction level dependency. Normal people have normal attachment, which means they get over it in a week or whatever. An enlightened person is gone in a second. So it just depends what level of attachment you want.